In 2012, a team of extreme noobs was sent to the end by a creeper court for a crime they didn't commit. These Minecraftians promptly escaped from the hellish black realm. Now stranded in a strange new world, they became the crafters. Their goal was to survive and prosper in any way they could. This is their story. Hello, it's Adam, also known as AB Animation Limited, here with episode 6 of The Crafters Season 2. Today, I'm back on the server a week after the last episode. Um, quickly, I'm going to show what I've done in the last week and what everyone else has done in the last week, so we've been quite busy. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of mining, because as you can see, I've got no iron. I'm <laughs> starting to go back to using stone tools again, so I've found what I hope will be a good place for mining. Actually, the sun's setting, so I didn't time this very well, but... Um, in the last episode, I only had this L-shaped building that I'm in right now, with these three rooms. Um, since then, I have completed the rest of the building. Um, as you can see, out there. Um, now, I haven't... Um, this isn't a finished thing. I've basically finished the framework, the walls, the basic shape of the roof, all that stuff. And... Um, I've, um, I'll just quickly show what the actual like rooms are. Um, as you can see on my mini map, there's kind of two main buildings, the L-shaped building that I built first, and the big um, building here with the staircase up onto the roof. And they are connected together by two um, of these kind of uh, passageway hallway things. And in the middle is the courtyard. So we can go around here, and as you can see, it just goes around in a big circle. That's on the on the top floor. I mean, not the top. This is kind of like the second floor. You can go all the way around in a circle. On the ground floor, you can't quite because there's a passageway down here. Um, but you can go around back to the lowest floor here. So. Um, I've s I'm yet to start work on the tower. Um, I also have a lot to finish with the more finer details of the house. I want to get the balcony done um, here and the rooftop next to it. I'm going to put actual like stair blocks on top of these um, so that um, it actually looks more smooth and covers up like the top of the logs here. And uh, I'm going to have this kind of design here with a fence and the half slabs. We'll go all around this. This is going to be a kind of rooftop terrace, um, which will be, and this will be like my personal balcony. Up here will be um, a balcony for both myself and any visitors to the house. So that's more for guests, generally. Um, so that's that. I'm just going to sleep now, and then when it is daytime, I will show the rest of the place. You can see my mini map that there is a considerable amount of snow. Um, firstly, let me just announce that Lewis has returned to the server after being away for a couple of weeks. Um, he's also brought Kevin back with him. Um, I don't think you saw much of Kevin. In fact, I don't think he was at all in season one in my videos anyway. But. Um, I think he's here somewhere, I'm not quite sure where, but... Um, okay, the Christmas tree, yeah. Um, that's kind of an obvious thing. Uh, uh, yeah. Built this big thing here, the old Christmas tree, because it's now the uh, 18th of December. Um, 
we've done up this whole town square here. Um, I think Nodge designed the tree and well, actually did everything. <laughs> if we ever want something like that's kind of like public for the server, if we ever want anything like that, Bill, we just get Nodge to do it for us. Um, okay, so this is what I really wanted to show the house from the front because the archway here is what I really like. Like, as you can see, the ground floor you can't go all the way around, but on that floor you can't because it goes through the arch. On this floor, you can come in through the entryway here, and then you can enter this building, or this building. And this is going to be the courtyard. I'm going to fill this in with cobblestone. Because it's all on different levels, these windows are quite high up from the, the room, but outside they're kind of low down. So, what else is there? Um, this whole bridge here has been extended, as you can see. Originally, we had one which connected my house, not just house. It's now connected to the town square, and also connected to Lewis's house. Um, you can also probably see that Lewis's house has been extended. It now has another floor on top. Uh, this over here is Mega's house. Uh, Mega has not been on much. Um, that's because he's often busy with stuff in real life. Um, we actually built this in an episode that he recorded in a Skype call, but. For some reason it bugged out and my voice is really quiet in the video even though I was kind of loud in the call. Um, and that, I've, I'm guessing it's, uh, it's the same as in the uh, an episode of the Tech It Trio once. I think it was like episode 5 maybe? Uh, when uh, we the call and Nodge had to leave so he left the call, and it was just me and Luta, and then uh, Luta was really quiet for some reason, because someone left the call in the recording. Um, and I'm guessing that Skype and Fraps sometimes act weirdly together, and I'm guessing Mega's episode is another example of that. So, um, as you can see here, there is um, a farm, Lewis's farm there, which is new, I think. Uh, this here was going to be the uh, uh, an XP grinder. Um, or a mob farm of some description. There is a dungeon down there. Um, I think Nodge and Nate built this. Um, I'm still not quite sure of how effective it is, but I heard there was at least some sort of problem with it. Um, okay, so now let's just head over to. Um, if we can just balance along this narrow little thing. Uh, this cleared area here is where Kim's going to build his house, I think. Um, that's what I said. Um, okay, uh, what else is there? I might show Nate's house and then we'll head to the location I've decided we will use for mining. Um, I'm actually feeling kind of uncomfortable right now. Um, it's because I think I've mentioned this before, um, actually in my update video when I said I was getting for Christmas, but my current chair is awfully broken, and, um, because it's, the back is kind of broken, instead of the, the leather bit, as, um, I'm just leaning against the metal bar because the leather broke off. Um, as you can see here, Nate's got this whole farm, that's actually semi-automatic. Basically pull the lever and it harvests it for you. Um, Nate's also going for the courtyard idea. Um, this is going to be a hallway, I'm not quite sure if that will work out since this is a fence, but... Um, it's got a room here. This is going to be his furnace room, as you can see. Okay, so uh, that's that's pretty much most of the new stuff, I think. Uh, it's got. I think there's a lot more. I don't know why that's like that. Um, there's a lot more going to be coming as well uh, later. Uh, I'm not sure what Notch has planned. Um, I think he said something underground, so. Uh, I'm be, I mean, just see what that is. I've got my house to finish. I'm going to make all this area of land here to a front lawn and connect it up to the town square. Uh, got the tower to build at the back. Um, and then, once I'm happy with the house, I'm also going to want to get some farms set up, a proper mine set up, and all that stuff. But once all that's done, I will, um, I will um, then start work doing something with my mountain that I've claimed over there. Um, which is, I'm planning on having some sort of fortress or castle at the top. Um, that's going to be a very big build, I think. Um, but that's quite far into the future, cause it's going to take a while to finish the house. 
and I want it to look um, kind of detailed, like um, various little things. I mean, things that we can build on here. There's plenty of possibilities, like virtually. Um, I'm talking about for you know just for the range of builds. You know, just, most people are going to build a house or a base, but um, just building it anything. I've had also quite a few ideas. Okay, this is the ravine. I actually fell in here once, which is the reason that I know how it, ex that it exists. Um, okay, back to what I was saying about the uncomfortable chair. Um, back on Saturday, um, the problems I've been having with the chair got to quite a serious point because I had considerable aches in my uh, left leg and torso. Um, then I started feeling faint. Uh, that's never a good sign. Uh, so, yeah, there's a bit of a problem <laughs> with this chair right now. Um, and to be honest, problems have, haven't really fixed themselves completely now. My neck hurts a bit. Um, I really do need a new chair because I can't like lean back properly because I'm just leaning against metal. Um, so I'm going to make this a quick episode and actually have a bit of a break. Um, Okay, I, I do believe what I found was this way. I explored all this and got all the iron, but then I found this. Uh, there's a ravine here, which goes pretty far down, and I figured this would be a good place to... Actually, I just noticed that down there there's an abandoned mine shaft here. Uh, I do know that there's also an abandoned mine shaft under town, um, under the, the cave system, so I'm wondering if they maybe connect up. That would be quite cool if it did. Um, okay, I'm going to want some of this on here. Um, get the water bucket out in case we meet any lava, my old nemesis. Um, I think we need to figure out how to get down into into the bottom, or maybe I should start from the top. That's a bit dangerous. Okay, this I know. Okay, <laughs> I've got a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> you may be able to tell. Right. I can see there's iron in several places, but a lot of it's hard to reach. I don't know if maybe I should make the bottom safe first, and again. It's kind of impossible to make it safe, it's too far down. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> okay. May as well talk about something else while I'm here. I don't want this to just be a, a silent caving episode. Um, so... Uh, I need something to talk about, though. Um, I could say that I went to the hairdressers today. Yeah, I went to the hairdressers. Um, or the barbers, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've I've always my family have always called it the hairdressers, even though that's by standard um, interpretation is yeah, generally for female kind of thing. But we just refer to it as this general place where people do various things to your hair, like cut it. Um, so we just call it hairdressers, even though. Um, in the males in the family go. Uh, so yeah, now my back is all itchy from the loose hair trimmings. This is interesting, there's a lot of like branch caves that we could explore. Um, I, might, I might talk about what we did today actually. Um, today at school I uh, kind of almost had a a day off. It was um, we're doing a thing um, this week. It's an event where we do lots of um, like um, science and technology related things. That's pretty cool. That's <laughs> you can see the lake on the mini map. That's actually that up there. You can see the trees. That's kind of funny. But that that would be quite cool if you fell down in the lake. And then you find yourself being swept into this ravine. Whoa, not good. Oh, damn, not good, not good, not good. No, I don't want to fall down. Yeah, that... This is going to be a difficult place to explore, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, scared. I don't want to die. Um, let's just... Go and try and block off at least some of the water so that it's actually easy to navigate oh there's some iron oh this pickaxe is almost broken 
Um, I might set up a little camp down at the bottom of here so I could. I might want to damp this. And it actually works. Oh. Okay, I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah, totally. Perfectly safe. Uh, so, yeah, we're doing that today. Uh, we've got a week of various activities relating to um, science, technology, and uh, mathematics and stuff. A load of nerdy stuff. And um, the, the people in the lower end of the school, that's um, year 7 and year 8, I'm not sure what they... I just realised that this is actually two ravines. Pretty cool stuff. Um, but, yeah. Um, oh god, I'm probably going to die. There's some gold out there, though. Uh, let's go and collect it. OCD. Um, I don't really have OCD, but I think in Minecraft it just kind of... Don't do that, please. He can't get any close, can he? Good. With all that lava down there and kind of stood on top of gravel, I'm not really feeling very secure right now. Okay, let's just... Oh, damn. Go away. Oh, God, I thought... Yeah, that's why I didn't want to back off, because there's a ravine of lava at the bottom behind me. Oh, my God, a spawner. Yeah, zombie dungeon, by the looks of it. Yep, that's the zombie dungeon, all right. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Server lag. Okay. <laughs> not doing a particularly good job, probably because I'm using this rubbish sword. Ow, 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 ow. Go away. Go dino hole. Ow. Lighting it up, I say. Okay. What have we got? Oh yeah, record disc. <laughs> and some iron, lovely. Two buckets randomly, may as well take those. Uh, another record disc. I've actually got like three now, a ton of string, bread, more iron, and a saddle. All very useful actually, I can use saddle for my pigs. Um, I'm just going to love collecting the record discs. I can't risk losing this stuff. Um, I don't know how long I've been recording for. Um, a bit of time. Right. Confirm that this isn't all going to collapse and I'll end up in the lava, right? Ah, uh, feeling unsafe with my loot here. Oops, that was a fail. I feel kind of, yeah, unsafe. Even if I set up a camp, a creeper could come and blow up a chest. So, I'm going to stop the recording, see how long I've recorded for, and if it is long enough, I will come back to record an outro. Uh, if not, I will dump my stuff in a chest and continue later. So, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back at my base um, after returning all my possessions here for music discs and the saddle. Um, I also noticed that my iron leggings are broken, so I made some new ones. Uh, smelted down a lot of the iron, I've got three ingots here now. Um, a load of junk I'm going to, have to do something with because this chest is like almost full now. All this sand came from Luisa's house. There was a prank off camera that none of you got to see because we cleared it up. Um, it was also a time that I wasn't making the videos, so um, we had a lot of sand left over that Luis gave to me. Um, so I've. Um, I've got kind of unlimited resources for making glass panes, which is useful. But, I looked at the time that I've been recording, it comes to about 17 or 18 minutes, so I'm just going to add this on to the end, it can be maybe a 20 minute episode, that should be long enough. Um, so, um, I'm going to go now, I'm probably going to head back to the ravine. I don't really feel like exploring all of it on camera. Um, maybe some of it, it just depends if I find anything Maybe that mine shaft, but like I say, I get that mine shaft is, I get the feeling that that mine shaft is going to link up with the one that we've already found. That's like right beneath my feet right now. In fact, if you look at, if you look at the <coughs> location on the mini map, it's really not that far away. As you can see, the snow biome from here. 
So I'm assuming that they're the same abandoned mine shaft. So um, some of the caves in them may already have been explored by the other guys. But anyway, uh, <coughs> I'm going to go now. Um, that's all for me. So if you like this video, I like, really bit appreciate it. Subscribe for more, and don't forget to leave feedback in the comments. That's all for me. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.